Hi, I'm Chris Matthew, Director of Business Development for Voxeo Labs. We have something really, really cool to show you today. It is highly experimental, but it is Phono, our JavaScript phone API running in Chrome Canary without plugins. So it's using Google's WebRTC native browser uh, voice and video calls. So what you're seeing now, my video, is uh, native WebRTC video uh, in a Google uh, Canary browser. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Tim Penton, who is a senior engineer working on the Phono project uh, right now, see if we can get a voice-to-voice, -voice, video to video peer-to-peer, browser-to-browser uh, conversation happening uh, without plugins. Hey, Tim, how are you? Hey, Chris, you're a little bit loud, but my browser rang, so that's cool. <laughs> and your video is uh, bigger than my video, so I'm having, uh, uh, what you call it? <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know, your, your fan is about as big as my head, so it's fair. It's like, that's obviously what uh, the way around they think it should be, so... So I, I already introduced you um, real briefly, and um, this is amazing. So this is a true... Phono to phono, peer to peer, WebRTC browser call with video and voice, no plugins, correct? That's right, no plugins, no headsets. Neither of us wearing headsets, there's no echo, and, um, and we've got video as well. So, and, and actually, I realized that this is encrypted as well, this call. Oh, this, this is like a geek fest right here. So, as I, I need to mention again, this is highly experimental. We have not uh, released this uh, out in the wild, so this is just Foxeo engineers geeking out. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing, um, thing to understand is it's based on uh, the current build of um, Chrome's Canary stream. So uh, Google are very clear that that stream is experimental and that features may come and go and, and changes may happen. And what's more, um, they, uh, they're basing it around a draft standard, which actually Voxeo are very active in, in, in helping to, um, to build, but that draft standard is, um, is still very much evolving. I mean, we, we contributed some, uh, some thoughts on it earlier this week about how, how it should work. So this is by no means a, a, a fixed, um, fixed thing. So, so Google WebRTC, I mean, the goal, my understanding of it, is that this will become part of the, the Google Chrome experience. So going forward, and other browsers should be adopting it as well. So no more plugins, no more Flash, no more Java applets, just pure browser-based voice and video communications. Yeah, I, I think it's even broader than that. I mean, you say no more browsers, but I mean, um, if you think about uh, I mean, no more plugins in browsers. Um, and I think you could expect uh, Firefox to adopt the same standard, which means that people can um, intercommunicate. Uh, you know, if people browse to the same website, same phone website, or, or whatever, or even just throw each other links, they should be able to communicate between themselves irrespective of the browser and without having to load the right plugin and give permissions or whatever to, to add that plugin. I mean, obviously, you need to give permission to access your video camera and, and your microphone. So those sort of security things need to be taken into account. But, but in terms of ease of use, what we're aiming for is just, you know, throw a link over and somebody else can pick it up and take it. And in the fullness of time, we would hope that this would get um, adopted on mobile phones and tablets as well. So um, and certainly the, the aim of the working group, the IETF working group and the W3C working group um, is to, to see that on not just on desktop browsers, but also on to, to particularly tablets, I think it's very interesting on. And, and, and also probably, I mean, given that this is Google, I think you can expect it on the Chromebook, and you can expect it on, probably on Android. What Apple will do, you, you can't even guess. Well, what, uh, and what our uh, job in all of this is to make it super easy for developers to bring this type of technology to their uh, web apps and you know, eventually mobile apps, as you mentioned, 
um, through our Phono JavaScript Phone API. So, I mean, you guys have, have made this so that um, this is our kitchen sink application that we have at Phono.com, and um, you've basically integrated WebRTC into this so that once it's ready to be released, any developer could just drop this right into uh, their web page uh, using jQuery and uh, use the same technology, right? Sure, and, and, and even better, what, what we would um, expect to happen is that um, it will detect, in fact, it already does detect whether WebRTC is available, and if it is, it will try to use it. If it isn't, it will then try and load either the FAT, Flash, or the Java plugins, so that, you know, in the transition period where not all the browsers uh, support this, then you can be using it, uh, what you might start thinking of at that point as legacy plugins to support audio um, in the browser using Flash or Java, or, or indeed on, on um, you know, on the mobile side using our, our mobile plugins for, for PhoneGap. But you won't need to make that decision. You'll be able to support that entire range of things with the same JavaScript. Um, and we'll detect what your browser is capable of and use what we think is the best um, option. And we'll let you influence that, of course. I and mean, if you've got a, you know, I'm not doing it unless it does a WebRTC, then fine, that's up to the JavaScript editor. But, um, you know, it, it, our aim is to make that code as portable as possible and to keep you writing at a, at a JavaScript level using kind of natural jQuery stuff and, and hide all the telephony voodoo from from people when they don't need to know it. We'll expose the bits that need to be exposed, but, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff down there you just don't want to see. Well, and speaking of uh, telephony voodoo, that's where our uh, Tropo platform uh, comes in handy because then you can connect Phono to Tropo and, um, I guess, transfer to SIP endpoints or real PSTN phone numbers and vice versa, right? With Phono, you can also place real phone calls right into uh, um, the, the web browser. And uh, I think it's only going to get better and more interesting with WebRTC. I, I think that's right. And I think that what's going to be very interesting is the transition between the, the, the you know, you can imagine things like, um, I know we all hate ringing banks and, and dealing with the IBRs, but you can imagine an IBR that not only spoke to you if you rang it on a conventional phone, but if you rang it with WebRTC, it would show you the, um, the options visually as well as, um, as well as reading them to you. And so that, you know, for, for some users that might be much preferable. I mean, I, I never remember the exact order, but I know what I'm looking for, and I'm sure I could find it visually faster than I could listen to it. But if I'm standing at a bus stop or on a train, then I don't want to get the browser out of here. So you want those options. Well, I tell you, this is a brave new world, exciting times, uh, definitely. And um, thank you so much for all your hard work and uh, the rest of the team at Voxeo Labs for making this possible. Um, I know you've been heads down for about a week on this project with your peers, and I'm I'm just uh, having fun playing. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's been great. The, the team was... Um, really cool. I mean, we did a lot in a week, and I was, I'm amazed that we got as much done as we did. And this, I'd say, it's still experimental, um, but we're confident it's something that we can build upon and, and actually uh, use. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, Tim. Have a great day. Uh, and uh, where are you? You're in the UK. Where at in the UK are you? I'm, I'm in Cheshire, in near Manchester. And I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, United States. So this is amazing. No latency, encrypted as you mentioned, video and voice, pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's impressive, isn't it? Cool. Hey, well, thank, take care, Tim. Thanks for taking time to demo this to me. Cheers, Chris. All right, bye. Bye. That was awesome. <laughs>